Yeah, so I think that the tax reform is going to affect everyone, whether you're a large earner or, or small starting out. So a couple things they did, they reduced the tax rates, so they dropped them down a little bit. Um, they've also created a uh, fixed C-corporation rate. So and Craig was talking about different entities. Um, C-corporations now used to be the highest tax bracket was 35%, now it's a 21% fixed rate. So that's interesting for some companies that may have to have a certain amount of capital within their business. For small businesses, a pass-through entity tax, there's a 20% um, kind of deduction that comes off the top now, um, which is going to be interesting. Um, one thing that they didn't change was the research and development credits. So um, they've really opened up Pandora's box with research and development. Um, it's very interesting in that there's ways that you wouldn't even think you're being innovative, but if it's, if it's unique for you and your business, um, you can consider that to be research and development. Now there's a lot of steps along the way, but um, the U.S. is looking to be competitive globally, so they're looking as a way to kind of to give back to companies that are, that are bringing new, new markets, new products to market, new, new services to market. Um, there's a lot of changes in the tax law, so um, it's, yeah. I, they're trying to simplify it. I don't think they, they did achieve that goal by simplifying it, but um, there are some nice benefits in there as far as reducing some of the rates. Alternative minimum tax, um, maybe some of you have heard of AMT in the past. It was capturing a lot of uh, lower earners, and they've, they've relaxed that a little bit, so there'll be some relief there. I saw another hand. So the LLC made 200000 you know, 100000 worth of expenses. So the norm would show up as 200000 and the bottom of the schedule C will be your income. Are you saying that 100000 will have a 20% Deduction. So you, you've always been able to deduct that 100,000. So you pay tax on the net. So if your gross sales are 200, you have expenses, legitimate business expenses of 100. That brings your taxable income down to 100. Now they're giving you a 20% additional deduction on top of that, so you'd start paying tax on 80. There's a very simplified method. There's a calculation to it, but they're trying to bridge the gap between the C corporation rates and what the pass-through rates are because. Otherwise, everyone would rush out and form a C corporation, put themselves on payroll, and all of a sudden you're, you're paying less tax to the government. So um, the vast majority of companies that are started today are, are either LLCs and S corps that are all passed through entities. So the government knows this and they're saying, okay, how do we kind of balance the two out kind of thing? So that's why they gave the, the credit for the pass through entities. I like how you said eligible or legitimate. Legitimate, legitimate yeah. I like how you put that. I got that too. That was a good one. But there's a there's another tax that you're probably going to be more uh, uh, responsible for right at the very beginning as you're starting a business, and that's payroll taxes. Uh, everything that we've been talking about so far have been have been income taxes. As you add an employee, you are responsible for payroll taxing taxes and and reporting. So if you're going to start to have staff, if you're the LLC owner, or if you're the C Corp owner, well, more so the LLC, obviously, the first employee that you hire, you have a brand new relationship with all levels of government, all levels. And there is reporting obligations that have to be made on a quarterly basis. I would definitely recommend that you find a payroll service to assist you with this because, and many of the accounting firms offer this as well, because it's not so much writing the check to the employee, it's making sure that you abide by all of the different taxes and reporting of those taxes to all the different entities that are going to collect income taxes off of the work of yourself and your employees. Uh, as Brett did kind of mention, there are municipalities that each want a share of the amount of work that that individual has done within that municipality. So if you've got a service-related business and you have technicians or service people who are going from community to community, the payroll service will help you to track what is the responsibility that that employee has to report to Sylvania, to Maumee, to Perrysburg, to the state of Michigan, to the state of Ohio, uh, all of those things are so important and they come back to haunt individual owners because you're not going to know all of the different tax related payroll uh, uh, expenses that you're going to have to do and all the reports that you have to file. 
So work with your CPA, work with a payroll service to make sure that you get that going and developed as soon as you possibly can. Once again, penalties and interest will come back to haunt you if you make mistakes.